I'm Josh Ackman with Park Industries Customer Service Department. In this video, we are going to do a full program of the new style hydraulic proportional valve controller. Um, so to start here, we have a new pro edge here. Also, I apologize if there's background shop noise. We are in our production facility, so there's some air blowing, stuff like that. So I apologize if it's hard to hear me, um, but we're going to program a new card on a new machine here and set all our parameters. Okay, so to start here, we're going to come down by our new controller here. And if you need the parameters, you can contact us at customer service. Otherwise, they should be on your electrical prints if you have a, a newer style of machine. Um, first parameter, you can see here, I can adjust these go to all the different parameters. First parameter on the list is A81. We're going to go to that parameter. And then if you turn the opposite side, the left side knob, you can change the parameter to what you need it at. Our parameters call out for 0.69. So I'm just going to turn that up. And then we can move over to the next parameter. And we'll just go back to double check here. You can see we stayed at the 0.69. Second parameter is AJ9, and that should be at a zero. And that so that one's correct. AL0. This should be at 0.37. Next parameter is AUP. This should be set at 0.1, so that one's correct. Next parameter is ADN. Be at the 0.2. And then the ADN or ADB is at 5. That's correct. AIN should be at 10. BH1, 0.66. BJ9 should be at 0. BL0 should be at 0.34. BUP should be at 0.1. BDN should be at 0.2. BDB should be at 5. BIN should be at 10. DB should be at 5. BF, I think the BF, we got to go back one. Should be at 140. IN should be at zero. DI should be at 123. And then we can go to SA. And then on this one, you rotate this knob one full correction here. Um, I don't want to do it because I don't want to save, but that's how you save your parameters. So just rotate this one, one full revolution, 
and that will program your card. Now that should, you're, by doing this, you should be very, very close to your parameter speeds. We will shoot another video here that will be on our website on how to change the speeds if you need to a little bit. Most of the speeds should be good. If you have to do a lot of changing on the speeds, you definitely want to take a look at your rails and bearings um, and hydraulic pressure to make sure all that is operating fine um, before you change too many settings and essentially putting a Band-Aid on a situation there. But uh, as always, if you have any questions, give our um, Clark Industries Customer Service Department a call or an email or anything and let us know and we'll help you out with that. Thank you.